Welcome back to the Jet Set, coming to you from the Spam Museum in Austin, Minnesota. What state hosts an annual event celebrating Spam? Hawaii, of course. Since Hawaii consumes more Spam than any other state in the U.S., it's only fitting that they celebrate it with a street festival dedicated to dishes incorporating Spam, and of course, raising money for local food banks. It's been going on for years, and Galen and I were lucky enough to take a trip to Hawaii a few years ago to see what it was all about. Check it out. There was so much to eat and see at Spam Jam that we had to split up to cover it all. Why is Spam so popular here? What's What started? That's a great question. The, you know, it really started at World War II when we introduced Spam with our troops that came over here. And then ever since then, it's been incorporated into their mainstay dishes like Spam fried rice, Spam and eggs, and then the, the Hawaii <laughs> famous Spam musubi, which is Spam on top of a bed of rice and wrapped in nori, which is dried seaweed. Spam Jam is popular because of its great entertainment and of course its food which is all spam inspired. And this is actually 100% grass-fed beef and okay. it's infused with spam. Like I said, spam for the first time so here goes nothing. <laughs> that is amazing. All right, I'm here with the winning recipe which is a Philly Dilly cheesesteak sandwich. It's made with spam. It's actually really good. <laughs> really good. Spam Jam closes down the streets in Waikiki, sets up three entertainment stages, and between the stages, several of Honolulu's finest restaurants serve up Spam in many different ways so you can experience the enormous variety. You can also test your Spam knowledge. True or false, Austin, Minnesota is officially known as Spam Town USA. 50-50. True. True? The answer is true. true. All right. <laughs> Stay connected to the Jet Set from wherever you are in the world. Download the Jet Set app today and fly with us via social media. You may even land on the show.